Guys, I, I can't really tell you how much I love Middle Tree Arkstrider. I've always loved it. I can't even really put it into words. So when this helmet was revealed, I was very, very skeptical. Now that it's out, I'm actually even more sad about it than I was already planning to be in certain aspects. Now, I do try to find the good in exotics. You guys know that. But with this one, I've found in certain situations, it is very powerful. I'm gonna show you those. But it's only in those situations. In PvE, very, very few occasions where it's gonna be beneficial. And when it is beneficial, there's also another small saving aspect to running it. And in the Crucible, it's comically strong. It is the ultimate meme exotic. But I have a ton of issues with it there as well. So friends, we're about to go on a journey today. There's some ridiculous clips in this video, hilarious clips, and there's actually a lot to talk about. The Blight Ranger is the new Witch Queen exotic hunter helmet for Arc Strider. The exotic perk is Voltaic Mirror. Attacks you redirect with your Arc Staff deal massively increased damage and generate orbs of power. And the idea, the power fantasy behind it, is strong deflect. That's cool. That should be powerful, but there's multiple issues with it. First, the damage. And also remember something about Middle Tree Arc Strider. I'm gonna bring it right back up here in a moment. Whirlwind Guard. Deflecting projectiles triples arc staff damage for a short time. So this is what I did. I'm gonna start with the base and work up to where it kinda works, where it works well, then talk about major issues. I went to the dungeon, stood in front of the ogre. Now the base deflect was 426. That's per hit on the ogre beam. This is what it's always been. But with the helmet on, the deflection damage jumps to 2,555. That's better. So that means that this helmet does 500% more damage. Or the basic way to look at it, it does six times damage. Whatever's deflected, it's gonna do six times the amount when it's returned right back to him. So in theory, it's great. So then he kind of put on the big brain cap. I was like, okay, what if there was divinity on it? Well, the damage actually goes down to 2,491. That's sick. Just the deflect and divinity. And I would have outputted a little bit more damage if divinity wasn't there. But when you look at the comparison, like my friend Jingle doing the divinity bubble, it's almost on par with my deflect damage. Okay, that's an issue starting out. I was like, okay, what if I just deflected, then utilize the whirlwind guard? So deflect six times damage of those projectiles, then go right into three times arc staff. A little bit better, 265,000. And then I started thinking, what if I just threw on the raid in flux? Just basic combos. I'm just using it for the pure length of the super. And in this situation, I am pretty much have the ogre stun locked. I did 572,000. Of course, it was spread out over the length of time. And one would think, obviously, using the super versus deflecting damage, it should do a little bit more damage. So the ogre test here kind of shows there needs to be a special circumstance for the six times deflect damage to be beneficial. So since I'm here, I was like, what about the newly updated Movius Quiver with the Orpheus Rigs? Not only does it do more damage more quickly, the targets debuffed for my team. The tether alone did 374,000 with all those things added. Then I can come out with rockets. We can do our thing. Now I do have some suggestions on how this thing could be buffed in a moment, but when you have Nighthawk, Thundercrash, Quiver, Nova Bomb, all of these fast, hard hitting damage supers, the deflect damage needs to be more. That's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get into it. But the other part is potentially kind of saving the exotic. It's the orbs that you dropped. That's the second part of the perk. There's a limit of four orbs when you're deflecting. I got five once, but expect four. These orbs are like vanilla D2 super orbs of power. Chunky, big orbs. And you can see them from my friend Jingle's point of view. And when you do pick up these orbs, which we got it going in a PvP game, they're some of the best as far as super energy gained for your fire team. So at least there's that. And that brings us to what is it actually good against? Well, very small things because of other issues I'm gonna bring up. The light bearers, especially the void ones. Sure, it sits them right down. They pop their super, you deflect that sentinel shield, it one shots them, it's a cool feeling. It should do that to more things, but you can't really deflect anything from the Stormcaller wizard and the blade barrage hunter. I was in the legendary campaign and the damage is scaled. The activity in me, we are at 1550, barely did anything to him. I was better off deflecting, using the whirlwind guard for three times staff damage, which I would have done anyway without the helmet. So I guess at this point, if you're ever in an area or a new dungeon that has like 10 void light bears, it's the Blight Ranger's time to shine. And there's really only one thing that it's absolutely epic against, the Goliath tank. but there's only like three of them in the game. Blight Ranger needs a big, big damage source to even matter, like this tank, because otherwise you're just gonna chip them, and the main value at this point is gonna be orbs for your team. Now, if that's the case, why not just switch to Sentinel, drop orbs for your fire team anyway, and then have 40% more damage through your banner shield that your team can shoot through. But the day-to-day -day life of the Blight Ranger, the issues, most enemies of PvE do not care, and that means that you can't do what you need to do. I'm gonna come back to it, but like an overload champion, just zipping everywhere, doesn't matter, 
doesn't care about your deflected damage. It's tickling them. It's useless. And on champions, you need a stun. It gets a good multiplier on your damage to take them out. You can't do anything with this helmet. But the other main issue is that say you do want to deflect some damage. It's going to do six times more. It's great. For that to happen, you need the enemy to be actively shooting you. That makes sense. Well, when you pop your super and you start deflecting, you have a very limited time frame to shine with Blight Ranger. And what ends up happening, the biggest issue, is that yes, you are deflecting six times more damage back, you just end up stunning them, meaning nothing's shooting at you, meaning the exotic can't deflect like it wants to. And you would be doing this anyway without the helmet. So what's the point of deflecting more damage back when you could just sit there in the first place, block one thing, go into Whirlwind Guard, and just delete them? So yeah, in PvE, pretty much terrible. And that's painful for me to say, because the idea is so cool. At this point, in PvE, it would need even more damage to be considered with its deflection, like 10 times damage. Because again, this helmet's main effect is to sit there and take damage. And sometimes the enemy that you're shooting at, they stop shooting at you. Sometimes they stomp you with a stomp mechanic. And when you do hit them, you just stun them. And that means they're not able to throw damage at you. And in turn, it's not allowing the exotic to deflect anything. So six times sounds really cool, but I would like it to do more. The second thing, I wouldn't mind if the deflection messed with a champion. Atherus's Embrace can stun. The new Warlock Boots in the Rift, they can stun. So it isn't a stretch to want these deflect rounds to stun a champion. Like this Overload Captain, what would be wrong with my deflection hitting them back, stunning them, and then I can go into Whirlwind Guard? It would be perfect. It would be the ultimate Uno reversal. So in PvE, if I ever find a situation, and be assured here, there probably is one in the game, a very special circumstance where the Blight Ranger can just help delete something, I'll post it, I'll talk about it. But currently, just all around, its practical application isn't even practical. It's a mess. Moving on to PvP, here's the deal. It is extremely powerful. It's so fun to use, but there's also a bug, and you're gonna see it more in PvP due to the nature of PvP compared to PvE, but there are three main issues that I wanna get into. And if you can look past them, it is fun. It's the same deal, six times damage. Players can't crit you, so that means whatever the body damage is of a weapon, you're gonna throw back six times. Keep in mind, a 140 hand cannon body shot is 47 to the body. If you deflect that one bullet back, it hits them for 282. Basically, everything one shot's back. Check out some of these clips. Isn't that great? Even in the well, where they have a ton of healing, it can mow through players. I've had a single crimson shot, sniper scouts, pulses, just one bullet, one burst, go right back and down them. On the surface, that's really good, but in reality, the overall loop doesn't really work. And what I did is I ran enhanced thresh on my shotgun, I ran a thresh palindrome, thresh on my machine gun, 100 intellect. I was able to get my arc staff two times a game. And if you don't fully commit like that, you're probably only getting one arc staff per game. And just like Raiju, just like the Flux, Blight Ranger, it's a switch exotic. And these switch exotics, Bungie, just give them something more. It could be anything. Something as simple as plus five stability to every weapon that you have. I don't know. I don't care. Just something. Because you're using this exotic sometimes only once a game for a chance at some fun for like seven, eight seconds. There are issues with that. Number one, the whole idea behind it is that you're banking on the enemy just to shoot at you. If you're new, you might not know this, regardless if this helmet is on or not. Do not engage the twirling pole of doom. It's bait. Only if you have on something like a trace rifle, chaos reach, a beam. Lots of people know this. So your dependency on this thing, doing what you need to do, is dependent on someone doing something they shouldn't be doing. Does that make any sense? And hey, they're going to learn real quick that they shouldn't shoot at you if you do have this helmet on. And with getting this gameplay, I am walking players down, trying to bait shots. And most of the time, I am close enough. I should have, except right now I'm getting gameplay. You would just arc staff them when you're close. So that's the first thing. Second thing, literally at any given moment, with how lobbies are going, six suppressors can just fly in at any point. Nothing like popping a super, immediately getting shut down because everyone's on Void 3.0, and everyone can have a suppressor. That will happen to you. And the third thing, the buggy thing, it appears that this helmet has the same little bug the Antaeus Wards did. Still kind of do. And if you play with Blight Ranger for a full play session, it will happen to you. 
you just fall over randomly. It comes mostly when you're shot in the back, but it's also happened from the front. But the best part is that once you just fall over to nothing, it does state that you did successfully deflect a shot. You dropped an orb. So that's really discouraging. Imagine making a sick play, go to block and just fall over out of nowhere. I, I imagine it does work in PVE, but not too many enemies are shooting you in the back. That's why I think it's a little bit more frequent in PVP. If that gets fixed, it will be better. And for those seven, eight seconds, you have meme glory. You really do. It is worth it. It's funny. It's very strong, but you're going to find that people don't mess with you. They don't want to, and they shouldn't. They just jump over you. They jump away. Go, go gadget, stompy boots. They're gone. Or you get suppressed. There are a lot of things that they could do to Blight Ranger. They could buff the damage to 10 times, 12 times, 15 times damage. They could give you super energy back after you've deflected damage, and that could be right as you're in super or after, like Ursa. They could maybe make it apply a debuff. They could maybe have it apply a lightning strike, like Cloud Strike, when it deflected damage. They could make it stun champions. All I know is that right now, it's a mess. The one shining thing in the Crucible are the one-hit kills. That's hilarious. In PvE, it's the orbs. But do yourself and your team a favor, just run Tether. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about Blight Ranger down below, and I can't finish this video until I say that as far as looks, this is one of the coolest looking exotics in the game. What a shame. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.